flat by mandolin orange is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the fifth fret of the guitar if you're wanting to play along with the album version. Uh, from this point forward, I will be referring to frets relative to the capo, like the capo is the nut, so frets 1, 2, 3, and 4, and chord shapes uh, also as though the fret, uh, as though the capo is the nut, shapes like A minor and G, even though those aren't the real, that's not the real key that we're in, but they're the shapes that we're playing. So, the intro is going to begin out of an A minor chord. You're going to start by plucking, uh, I'm using a pick here, kind of strumming the open 5 string and the open 4 string together, and then you're going to hammer on with your second finger to the 4 string 2 fret. And then you'll lift up your second finger and play the open 4 string. So you've got, and then you'll go with your ring finger to the 5 string 3 fret, pluck that, and then come back to the open 4 string. So you've got, and then go into an A minor shape. That would be second finger down on the four string two fret, ring finger down on the three string two fret, and your first finger is on the uh, two string one fret. In the strumming pattern, we're not even close to being done with this opening riff, but I might as well go ahead and address the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern will come across as like a two beat bluegrass pattern where you're alternating you're basically going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up the whole time. Uh, but you'll be alternating in most chords between two notes. The root note, which in an A minor is going to be the open five string, and then uh, the fifth of the chord, which here we're going to be playing as the open six string. So like A, E, A, E. So after that, after that little flurry of notes, you would be hitting the open 5 string and the open 6 string with the down, down, up, down, down, up rhythm. The second part of the riff, or the second, I guess, piece, will go, we'll do that. So you hammer on just like you did for the first piece um, with your second finger to the 4 string 2 fret, and then you play the open 3 string, then, then the four string two fret again and then the open three string so that you've got and then you'll go into a C chord by just putting your ring finger down on the five string three fret. Inside of this C chord you'll go uh, five string down and then there's a hammer on where you will lift your second finger off of the four string You'll strike the open 4th string and hammer on with your 2nd finger to the 4th string 2nd fret. And you'll up kind of across strings 2 and 3, come back down to the C note, and then up again. So you've got... So first part... 2nd part... And then moving into the third part, we're going to repeat our hammer-on uh, by lifting our second finger from the fourth string. We're still in the C shape. Hammer-on to the fourth string, two fret. Then strike the open three string. I do that with an up of my pick. And then we're going to down into an F chord. So for this next down, we've gone... We're going to leave our ring finger where it is on the 5 string 3 fret, we'll put our pinky finger down on the 4 string 3 fret, and we'll begin our strum from the 5 string down to the 2 string where our 1 finger still is on the 2 string 1 fret, and we're going to have an open 3 string in the middle. Just after strumming past that 3 string, you need to hammer on with your 2nd finger to the 3 string 2 fret so that you get and then you will hit again the two string where your first finger is and after that hitting of the two string you're going to open the three string lifting your second finger and hit the open three string so that we've got so far and then you will come to the four string two fret where you will put your second finger down you'll strike that and then you'll open the four string so that you've got 
Okay, let, let me get us back up to speed with where we are. The first part. The second part. The third part. I'm sorry, I must messed that up already. And then you'll hit the where your ring finger is on the five string three fret. And then you're going to move with your ring finger to the four string three fret and you'll begin this next series of notes on the open five string. You'll go open five string, four string three fret, open three string, and then two string one fret. Whenever you get to the two string one fret, you can hear another pick on the two string one fret that leads into basically a pull off of that two string. So that you open the two string and then you're going to you'll go with your second finger to the three string two fret. You'll open the three string then you'll play the open four string and you'll then hammer on into an A minor shape. And we're back, that's kind of the end of the first piece of this riff. So the F part of this riff, uh, actually let me just play the whole thing again very slowly. This is the first part, the second part, the C chord to the to the F chord is what this is and then um, now in this A minor chord you hear on the down, down, up. On the first up, you hear emphasis of the second string, where your first finger is on the second string one fret. Then you hit the open sixth string, down, and then the up will emphasize the open one string. And then we get to the second part of this opening riff. This is a very riffy song. So that little lick, we're walking up to a C chord out of, uh, we're going to put our ring finger down on the 6th string 2 fret, pluck that, and then slide it up 1 fret to the 6th string 3 fret. Get the open 5 string, 2nd finger to the 5 string 2 fret, and then after the 2nd finger on the 5 string 2 fret, you're going to go into a 4 fingered C chord by hammering on with your second finger to the four string two fret, but your ring finger is coming down on the six string three fret, your pinky finger is coming down on the five string three fret, your, your first finger is going back to the two string one fret, and you're inside of this C chord. So that little walk up into the C again slowly is, and then you're doing now the little two beat between the five string three fret and the six string three fret. On the, so we're going down, down, up, down, down, up. On the second up, we're going to lift our first finger off the second string two fret to hit an open two string. And then it hits like the open three string, and then second finger goes to the three string two fret, then the three string opens, and then the second finger goes to the four string two fret, and then the four string opens, and then we go into an F chord. So very slowly, that process out of the walk up is, or whenever we go to the F chord, we're going to move with our second, uh, with our ring finger to the five string three fret, pinky finger to the four string three fret. My first, or my thumb, is going to grab the six string one fret. My first finger will go down on the two string one fret. 
and in the strum we are hammering on with our second finger to the four string to the I'm sorry the three string two fret. So we've got. the open one string here and then sometimes in the F the second finger lifts back up off of the three string uh, so you've got and then it goes back into the A minor chord where is uh, this is the now end of the intro so that was a super long intro but I'll play it all the way through one last time very slowly mess that part up. I want to leave my pinky finger down on the four string uh, three fret and that's wrong. It needs to go and then and then lyrics start. From this point forward it's just down, down, up, down, down, up strumming, alternating between in the A minor, the open 6 and the open 5. It will then move to a C chord, same 4 fingered C chord as before. And here we're alternating between the 5 string 3 fret, the 6 string 3 fret. Then it comes back up to the F chord, and then back to the A minor chord. Um, so, whenever it goes to the A minor there, there's another riff that goes, that would be in the A minor, you would strum down to the A minor, uh, first finger on the two string one fret, and pull off your first finger from the two, uh, two string one fret. And then hit the three string two fret where your uh, ring finger is. And then open up the three string. And then you're going into a G chord. And in this G chord, you've got your ring finger on the six string three fret. And you can hear a little hammer on with the second finger to the five string two fret. And then That would be, so after the G chord, let me talk again, just let me go back to the beginning of the lyrics because I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, but so chords of the verse will be A minor to a C chord to an F chord to an A, chord, A minor, and then it's going to walk up again, C chord to the F chord the A minor chord, and that's where that little lick that I just talked about happens, to the G chord with a little hammer on, and then this uh, F chord that has an open 5 string in it and an open 3 string. So for this chord you will go, uh, you're fretting your ring finger on the 4 string 3 fret and your first finger on the 2 string 1 fret, and you're going to go 5, 4, 3, come back down 3, 2, and then the open one string, and then come back down 2, 3, and then out of this chord, you're going to walk up to a C, you can hear it go, that would be an open 5 string, then second finger to the 5 string 2 fret, ring finger to the 5 string 3 fret, and then you would hammer on in that C chord with your second finger going to the four string two fret so that you've got and then you walk down to the five string two fret and then you can hear after the walk down to the five string two fret the ring finger hammering back down to the five string three fret coming back to the five string two fret 
and then going back into an A minor. And that's the end of the verse and chorus run where the instrumental break in the middle goes back to a that run out of the G to the C. So let me let you hear this part very slowly that's coming uh, the second half of the chorus with that little walk down out of the A minor. It will go. I missed that, but. And then walk to the B and then to the A minor. So those are the chords and the movements to Daylight by Mandolin Orange. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.